Hi, this is a deposition how-to video, if you will. If you're watching this, you're about to take a deposition in the near future, and I just want to go with you what may or may not happen uh, in your deposition. Uh, as is customary, we'll be taking it in a law firm office. We may be at a conference center or something like that. But typically, we'll be in a, in a law firm office, either my office or, or the other opposing attorney's office. Um, typically, the attorney representing the client, myself, will be uh, in this chair. And then you, the deposition uh, giver, the deponent, will be in this chair. The court reporter will be typically at the end of the table However, sometimes um, we use video, and if video is taken, typically the deponent, deponent will be here and the court reporter will be in this chair. Okay, just want to go, with, go over with you a few um, pointers to make your deposition go smoother. One of the things is uh, to tell the truth, always tell the truth, okay? The, Deposition is informal in the, in the aspect that uh, we're in a conference room, we're not obviously in the court of law. However, it's formal in the sense that you are under oath. Okay, This deposition can be used in the court of law if you say something different in the court of law versus what you said in the de deposition. This deposition can be used against you or other witnesses uh, to impeach your testimony. I basically call you out, either call your, call your bluff on a particular aspect or um, maybe change some of the facts as they were laid out in your, in your case, okay? So uh, there's nothing to really be nervous about other than the fact that if you tell the truth, you tell it like it is, um, you'll be just fine, okay? So the questioning attorney, which is your opposing attorney, he'll sit across the table, he or she will sit across the table from you and ask you questions. Most of the deposition will be about um, your particular case. If it's a personal injury or workers' compensation type case, it's going to be mostly centered around the accident itself or the on-the-job on injury. For workers' compensation cases, they usually don't last more than an hour, hour and a half. Uh, the first 15 minutes of a workers' compensation case or a personal injury case will be just kind of getting background information, your address, kids, spouse, where you've lived, family members, that sort of thing. The next part will be about the injury itself, and then the last part will be about um, medical-related questions about your injury. Okay. So, uh, in personal injury accent, a actions, they typically last um, more than an hour. It could last all day, for for that matter. Just kind of depending on the circumstances of the case. Workers' compensation cases, it's usually an hour, hour and a half, okay? Um, in divorce or custody type cases, those things really just depended on what the opposing counsel wants to get out of the case, what they want to get out of the deposition, what kind of information they're trying to get for use um, on the opposing side, okay? The, one of the most important things to remember is don't try to guess. Okay, you can estimate if somebody asks you how long a particular um, piece of material was or uh, how far it was to the accident scene, something like that. You can estimate, but don't try to guess. Don't try to guess uh, heights or weights or any other kind of measurements that you just don't know. I don't know is a perfectly good answer. If you truly don't know, it's perfectly okay to tell the uh, opposing attorney that I really don't know, okay? Um, on open-ended questions about explain the, how the accident happened or explain how this particular uh, situation uh, came about, it's perfectly acceptable to go on a narrative, which means you kind of explain in several paragraphs over a couple of minutes about how a particular action uh, took place. However, for the most part, a uh, question needs to be answered succinctly and to the point. So um, you can say yes or no to a particular question and then explain your answer. No more than a couple of sentences is, is typically what you would want to say. 
Also, um, if you're a chatty person, uh, you may feel the need to kind of explain your answers more than usual. Don't do that. Uh, it typically leads people in down trails that they don't really need to go down, okay? Listen to the question that is asked. If the opposing attorney is asking you a question, listen to the question that is asked. That is very, very important. Don't try to anticipate where that um, attorney is going. Don't try to infer certain things into what the attorney is saying, but actually listen to what he's saying, he or she is saying. So um, if a particular color of a car is at issue, well, don't, don't go into all the nuances about colors of cars. Just say red, black, blue, and then let, let the attorney do all the work about asking the right question, okay? The other thing is to um, be mindful of objections. I will be sitting in this seat, um, whoever's representing you, and uh, you will be sitting in this seat. And from time to time, there may be improper questions that are asked. So pay attention. Uh, think about what you're about to answer. Give it a little bit of time to kind of sink in, and then give an answer. However, if I make an objection, um, you can still answer the question, but think about the objection and why I'm objecting, and that may direct um, how you want to answer the question, okay? Um, it is not a marathon. There's not a judge in here. And so uh, if you feel uncomfortable or feel that the deposition is maybe not going your way, just um, I will either stop the deposition, we'll take a break, or you can feel free to say, I need to take a break now, okay? You can go to the bathroom, you can get a glass of water, you can talk to me about any of the questions that are asked. Um, you can even, if you said something that was improper, you can even come back on the record and say, um, you know, what I said earlier, that really wasn't accurate, okay? I need to change that answer. The other thing is that the court reporter will be sitting at the end of the table, and he or she will be taking down all of your answers. They'll be typed up and put into a book. Um, after the deposition, we will send you that book, and you get to go through and look at those answers. You don't get to change your answers, but if anything was notated incorrectly, which means taken down incorrectly, then you get to the opportunity to change those answers or notate that that may be incorrect, okay? The other thing is the court reporter is taking down uh, verbal responses only. So the court reporter cannot take down nods of the heads or grunts or um, any other kind of hand gestures. Um, so if you say the, um, the pipe that you tripped over was this big, well, Court reporter can't take down um, that length, okay? The court reporter can only take down that you are hand gesturing. So you have to say things in verbal responses to give an accurate description of what's taking place. The other thing is um, generally your question, I mean your answers will um, be in a yes or no form, okay? And then you'll want to explain. But sometimes um, there may be just simple explanations that you can clarify a particular question. Feel free to do that. That's fine. Just don't get too overly um, uh, talkative about your answers, okay? Think uh, you can't talk over each other, okay? So the court reporter can only take down what one person's saying at a time. So make sure to let the attorney uh, that's questioning you, give out their question, let it sink in, give a response. Um, the attorney, I will make sure that the attorney doesn't talk over you, and you do the same for that attorney, okay? It's very common in normal conversation to anticipate where the other person is going or to infer uh, where that person may be heading by um, just their nonverbal cues, hand gestures, or 
just kind of the positioning of the body and that sort of things. It's very important, again, to listen to the question that is asked and don't try to infer anything into where that attorney is going. Also, the attorney will be asking you what's called leading questions, which means that the attorney will suggest to you certain responses. Don't go down those trails that the attorney is trying to suggest to you, okay? Give your own answer. Give an accurate description of what happened and what you recall. And if you don't know something, feel free to say, I don't know, okay? Those are the basics of a deposition. Um, at trial, there may be differences in how we approach a case. Um, you'll get an opportunity to read your deposition before trial. But those are the basics of the deposition. If you follow those, tell the truth, you'll be just fine. Thank you.